Wow, that looks like a lot of proofs. But keep it in your pants. This won't be as long as you think. He is coming. Cover your butt. Help fight the Flat Earth bots by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly content. 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball by Eric Dubay. 6. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, as NASA and modern astronomy claim, spherical trigonometry dictates the surface of all standing water must curve downward an easily measurable 8 inches per mile multiplied by the square of the distance. This means, along a six-mile channel of standing water, the Earth would dip six feet on either end from the central peak. Every time such experiments have been conducted, however, standing water has proven to be perfectly level. Dubay doesn't actually seem to understand what he just said. Before we talk about that, let's look at an observation that demonstrate that the Earth isn't flat. Soundly's pictures of Lake Pontchartrain. If you're new to these images, all of the towers in this picture are level. Each tower is built the exact same height from the water level. If the Earth were flat, we would expect this picture to look like all of those pictures used as examples of perspective, with each tower appearing to shrink and get closer together. However, as you can clearly see, the towers don't just start disappearing bottom first, but they are also curving. Not just do we have images like these disturbing the flat earth, but Dubay is so incompetent at understanding the very concepts he's talking about that he's not actually wrong. Water is always level, but having water be level does not mean that it is flat, and having large bodies of water be level is predicted by a globe earth. Dubay's proof doesn't even prove what he thinks it does. Seven, surveyors, engineers, and architects are never required to factor the supposed curvature of the earth into their projects. Canals, railways, bridges, and tunnels, for example, are always cut and laid horizontally, often over hundreds of miles without any allowance for curvature. The problem with this proof is the complete lack of research. Metabunk has actually compiled a list of surveying literature that talks about surveying on Earth and how the curvature of the Earth affects surveying. This list includes a treatise from 1853 written by John Gamir, a discussion on refraction and its relation to Earth's curvature, and a definition on leveling by Robert Gibson. You can check the link in the description for a complete list including digital scans of the original papers. In the end, this is just an unfounded claim. Proof 8 is just a repeat of Proof 4 using the Suez Canal instead of the Mississippi. Proof 9 is really just Proof 7 with the added benefit of quoting someone who can't be found writing in a publication that doesn't seem to exist. Proof 10 is the same as 4, just using Liverpool as an example rather than the Mississippi. Proof 11 is the same as 7, just with the added benefit of using an unnamed source. Proof 12 is the same as 7, and again, citing Earth Review, which doesn't seem to exist. I warned you all not to get too excited.